number lines. These all represent three. They're all numbers. They stand for the idea of an amount. We can also show how numbers relate to each other with a number line. It's like a map of numbers. The same idea is on a ruler. The numbers go in order, big to small. This doesn't have a zero, but it would go right there. Or a thermometer, low to high. We'll stick to the numbers above zero. Notice the steps are always the same size. Mathematical numbers, lines, have arrows at the end, and they show that numbers can go on forever because they're ideas, unlike the ruler or the thermometer. Up or down, forward or backwards. A number line has a starting point called the origin, zero, but we can go below zero. We're going to focus on the whole numbers above zero for a while. Here's the important idea. The difference or distance has to be consistent. An inch is an inch. The distance between zero and one is the same as the distance between nine and ten. And if we're measuring with those same units, cups, miles, inches, dollars, it has to be the same distance between 9,999 and 10,000. Now to get this line back to the zero origin, we'd have to count backwards a long way. We can make our units any size we want. This line has zero and one. Where would the two go? Can you think of places where it shouldn't go? Here? I don't think so. Your second mile has to be the same as the first mile. That's more like it. We can start from anywhere. Can you figure out which numbers are missing from this number line? We can fill them in counting. 26, 27, 28. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So number lines take some thinking. Our next lesson will have a little bit of algebra.